Hi there. First of all and foremost, we'd like to thank you for sending in such wonderful questions. Yes, we thank have, you. Uh, please continue to send them in. This is a uh, segment called Our Bold Ask. So this is our opportunity to ask Erica stuff about uh, film, about film acting, film producing, film uh, casting. Uh, and here's a great question um, coming from Jody. Uh, I am often surprised that casting directors ask for 8x10 headshots and resumes. Uh, uh, and I'm just curious if this is still a common practice if electronic files, PDFs, have been sent. Would an, an 8x10 or an 8.5x11 work as easily? That's a great question. And I ask that question almost on every project myself. Um, I'm old school, so yes, you should absolutely have for our casting office here, you should absolutely have a real 8x10 physical copy with your resume on the back and not separate, but together. Um, and sending things digitally is absolutely necessary as well when you're submitting for projects and whatnot. Depending on the project you're working on, the director, the producer, the casting director, you just have to figure out if they're old school or not, essentially. And um, I'm old school in a lot of the projects I work on. Um, the director and producer are also old school. so. Uh, there's a project I'm working on right now, and literally the producer and the director want their own headshot, 8x10, and they have their piles during the day, they get big, and at the end of the day, they take such care, put them in a special envelope, take them to their office, back to the production office, and truly use them, and they've been asked for, for a couple extras because they really study them and put them on walls and whatnot and, and rearrange them. And there's something very tactile about casting mm -hmm. because it is very much like painting. And I think that um, just having that tool available will put you in a better light as an actor. It first of all shows that you're professional when you walk into the room and you have an 8x10, um, a good quality professional 8x10, and a resume laid out very succinctly and properly and professionally. But, um, but really being prepared with having multiple headshots in your bag. It doesn't mean that they're different um, headshots as in you're wearing different clothing, but I mean lots of copies of your headshot in your bag wherever you go is just part of being an actor. It's just like bringing in, you know, extra set of clothing or wearing, you know, layers so that you can easily transform in the room. I agree totally with that. And I don't know if it's old school, but I'll be old school too. Right. Is that, You're old school. Is, You're old. <laughs> you are old And uh, I'm going to go from a, an aesthetic artistic point of view. Uh, start with the basics. You know, it's, I love your idea about portraiture. I think an actor needs to take 8x10 and go through that process mm -hmm. so that they can really study who they are in still life. So that there's a real sense that take that step of 8x10, really take it so that you work with a, uh, intimately with the photographer to get to know what your best side is what it is to be still, because that's what you're going to see in the small things mm -hmm. when there are an actor's access, that same sort of energy. Well, there's an energy, yeah, that comes through the eyes. It doesn't matter if it's a, a still from the movie screen or a headshot. They're very different, and so you can't use a still from a movie screen for a headshot, but there is the same um, um, gritty energy that needs to come right. forth through the eyes, through the photograph, that, that, that headshot indicates, ah, oh, they are going to be interesting to watch on that big screen. Yeah. And so for me, the headshot is one of the purest ways to move toward what your personality is and what your essence is. Mm -hmm. You can do it so simply and succinctly by doing by it. It is, it is taking time to really, really approach it as a piece of art, which is, okay, this is my representation. And this is what I'm going to do commercially. So for me, just bottom line, it's just part of our artistic trade, let alone our business trade. That's, 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 that's really cool. how well, I see and it. And it's interesting because nowadays, electronically, especially if there is a database with your photographs in it, and there are multiples in these databases for casting directors, and I use um, Breakdown a lot, and in Actors Access, there are... Um, many different looks. So even if there's a physical one to directly answer that question, a physical one that one brings in, it's also very important to have multitude of headshots. Absolutely. So if I want a different look, or I did, for some reason, you know, we're just like, you know, this is, a, the, he looked different today when he walked in the room. We can go electronically and show the director and producer, oh, oh, all of these Here's other the looks. Right, you yeah. know, and they, 
All right, so so, so, so many, so many uh, um, actors, uh, you know, that when they when they talk about and they discuss headshots and they talk to Eric mm -hmm. and I about it, they we talk about them about them, you know, d discovering their type and all that. Well, how does an actor discover their type? And we tend to say, okay, and how, do, how what do I bring to an, uh, an audition? And it's, uh, I sometimes say different sides of yourself is what you're trying to bring in. So how are you going to discover different sides of yourself? So here's a little test for the actors out there, which is, okay, have somebody, a friend, take a, a, a with a good camera, take a shot of you, and take the, your, your shy self, your confident self, your seductive self, do to have about five in a row and, and explore and see what that is because that's what you're talking about, right? I should have five photos that represent different sides of myself because that's my more sharpened way to get into the cut that might get me to a, a, an audition and a callback. Exactly, and it, it is an acting exercise, and it's absolutely a collaboration with the headshot photographer that you go to, because hopefully they are very skilled at their craft and seasoned, and, and, and they can help maybe guide you through so that that top layer of what you're, you know, oozing is right. is Good palpable word. but then there's the underneath layers too that make you this complex wonderful human being and that's what you want to see see on the screen so i think the bottom line to answer jody's question is yes you need an eight by ten a physical copy that needs to be stapled in four corners or it needs to be <laughs> pasted on there or it needs to be printed on the back it should not be two pieces of paper that can fly off in different directions and um and you should absolutely have electronic as well, and you should be prepared for both while we're in this kind of hybrid, changing landscape of digital. Maybe it will never, ever go full digital. I'm, I, I, I don't know, maybe not in my you know, I hope we're career. always so old school about like it, too, because of what you're talking about. For me, it was like, if I may, yes. it's like baseball cards. I swear that it, it, when I had baseball cards, I'd like to take yes. all my Yankee team and lay it all out on my I bed, know. you know? You know what I've and done? I think the artists do the same. I think casting directors do I've the same. I've driven, I've literally driven, dr uh, drawn, drawn eyeglasses on people, <laughs> mustaches, facial hair on people. I have done that on headshots, and producers and directors have done it. It's really helpful. And how do you do that digitally? It's composition. I guess you can, it, they're composing while they do it, is what it comes yeah. down to, which yeah. is fun. And final thing, may I gently urge you, listen to Erica. It's real pro to carry with you at all times, when you're in a situation, at least 10 headshots in your bag. Mm -hmm. This is just really pro. You never know when you're going to meet somebody or going to use them. That's be, that's old school. It's one of the best tips I received when I was a young. It's actor. your business card. You yeah, it's, there it's, it is, and you know, and then it reduces to some people doing business cards. But your eight by ten is you. That's it. I am my resume. I am my photo. Exactly. Think that answered the question? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>